Hey everybody, this is John again. Um, it's been a while since we recorded anything. Um, today we're going to go ahead and build a little cart just for um, my kayak over here. Um, excuse the mess here. We're in the middle of cleaning up. I just junked like 30 mowers, but I'm getting ready to take the kayak out Saturday. Um, I want to go down to uh, right down the streets Glee Bay, which runs into the South River. So I want to take it down, but I want to walk down just because I don't have my stickers for the truck yet to park. Um, so I figure I build a little cart. Um, been thinking about buying one versus building. I've just decided to build one and probably make something a little bit nicer and uh, you know cheaper. So what I got today was all this here from Ace, um, and we're going to go through building it. I got a seven foot piece of one and a quarter inch PVC. I got a two foot piece of uh, all thread um, and it's half inch. I got two nylon, you know, lock stop nuts is what they call them. I call them lock nuts with the nylon in them, but same thing. Um, you can get six of the T's, which is a lot cheaper. But because Ace only had two, it forced me to have to get this done tonight so I can go out tomorrow. I mean, Saturday, um, I had to get four. I got four of the, the four ways. But you can do six T's and have just the same exact thing. And I got six end caps here. So what we're going to do first is um, this is my kayak here. It's a, it's a Cayman. It's a West Marine Cayman. It's the same thing as a Perception Striker. Perception makes them. Um, it's a cool kayak. I've had it out one time. I haven't had a chance to use as much as I want. Um, added some rod holders. I added two mounts up there. Then I just added this one here for a little bit closer. That's the one, the only downfall about this kayak is that if you're fishing, trying to go back off the high seat here, you have a high and a low seat, trying to reach that fishing rod is like touching your toes. So it's not, you know, being a novice at this with my balance and stuff out there, um, I just wanted to put something a little bit closer where I could sit. But we're going to try to do some crabbing um, on Saturday. I'm going to get the lid off this bucket, clean the bucket up. That'll be a good bucket to throw crabs in. Um, so let's get going while it's still light out. So the first thing I'm going to do is this. Um, to make my axle, my main shaft for the axle, I've decided I'm going to cut it at 11. 11 inches in. And the reason why I'm going to go with 11 is because by the time you tack these on, this one on this end, that one on that end, you're going to be up probably a good... I would say there's probably a good two to three inches in the middle before those, you know, the PVC pieces are in. Then you're going to have to run another little end piece with the cap on it. And the reason why you're going to have to do that is because you, um, you're you going to drill a hole for your, you know, your axle to go through so your wheels can ride on it. So let's go ahead and get started with that. That's going to be the first thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead now. We'll take this over and we'll make our cut. That'll be the first thing we're going to do. So we got the, t I've already marked 11 inches there. And got the PVC glue, tape measure. Got my mount, got my charger. Batteries on this little GoPro or fake GoPro are not the best, but it works. So I'm not gonna complain too much because I need it, especially right now. Um, so I'm gonna set this here. We're just gonna run our cut. And once we run our cut, we'll go ahead from there and um, you know, we'll go that route with it as far as, um, you know getting the axle and stuff set up i want to use my drill in a little bit but the problem right now is that the drill is charging so it's going to be a little bit before it's ready but i can deal with that try to get you a better angle here there we go Then put you up in the tripod and we can get a better angle of what's going on. There we go. And so that's done. Okay. 
I'm going to clip you back into the tripod now, and we're going to get started making our first cut. All right, guys, y'all ready? It's time to get going here. There we go. The first cut is going to be right here. It's going to take my circular saw and hit it. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and get put some glue on, put my first uh, my first little little piece on. So I'll be right back. I don't want to make this one too tall. I want this just to kind of be a simple, you know, simple deal with this. So. These are the two we're going to use to start making our axle. Let's go ahead and take some of your PVC glue, which is this stuff right here. This is the heavy duty PVC cement. And remember, I'm trying to keep this thing small enough that I can throw it in the yak and take it with me. That way, in case I ever decide to fish any places that have trails and stuff and you have to actually, you know, rivers or whatever get too low and you have to actually walk like back on a trail to get back to water I'll be able to do that so I'm gonna put a little bit on here like this then you want to pop this one on right here just push that on the stuff dries pretty quick so make sure you have them lined up when you do it because you might not get a second shot at it there we go good all right so now we're gonna do the other one You can put it either or. You can put it in here or on the pipe. I usually I put it on the pipe, but because that one's already set, and I just by habit put it in here, so it's not going to hurt it though. It, it like I said, it seals up pretty quick. I built a couple carts. Tried one for the bass tender. It's just too big. So here we go. I'm going to move this over to here. And what we're going to do now is we're going to set this here so I can get these lined up because it's already starting to dry. And I don't want to waste too much time with it. It's still free right now, but like I said, you don't have a ton of gambling time with it. So, there we go. And you want it to be able to stand, you know, smooth on its own. There we go. Because these two are going to control... These two here are going to control what goes up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put a little piece in here, but you're going to need it to be big enough to go in here and at the same time go all the way to the end of this cap. So we need a good rough measurement to figure out how much we're going to cut because what, what we're going to end up doing is drilling a hole right through the center of both of these caps. That's what your axle rod is going to run through to a, a washer. And then, of course, I'm going to use lawnmower wheels because I have like 15,000 lawnmowers sitting around. So, well, not no more. But... I have a lot of wheels still so no need to buy wheels I can save on that but if you're just building one from scratch you will need to have some sort of set of wheels so let's go grab our PVC real quick and get a measurement here we're gonna need so you're gonna need going from the inside of this cap it's about an inch and a quarter in so you're gonna need an inch and a quarter in there and you're also gonna need another inch and a quarter here so that tells me right there, you're going to need inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter, two quarters make a half. So you're going to need two and a half inches at least of PVC to fit in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to mark and cut off two, two, like 
two pieces of two and a half. So I'm gonna put this here. Grab my marker right here. Okay. another one for two and a half and what this is going to do is this is going to pretty much allow us to put um, set up for our axle it doesn't take very long to build these it's just um, a lot of cutting of the PVC and stuff but for 38 bucks you're getting a, a good cart you know and I don't like the scupper hole carts just because I've heard too much about them damaging the scuppers like when pulling them and stuff so Ready? Ready? I got this one. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on it. You're going to take it and you're going to push it right in here. There we go. Perfect. And what will happen is eventually this will go on here like this and you'll drill, you'll drill that out. I'm not going to put it on yet because I want to drill the holes first prior to doing that. So we'll put this in like this and it's good. Let's cut another one. second one now. Okay. Just like the other one, we're going to put some glue right around it let it set up so right now okay we're gonna have to wait and drill these out but you already have your axle pretty much made now we know two two and a half Two and a half is going to be your magic number as far as fitting these without having much to carry over. Because when you put this on, you're only going to have that much, which is okay. So I'm going to do the same thing with these two, two and a half to get my next piece on to, you know, put my ends on there. So we're going to do that. Let me grab the other one, so I'll be right back. Okay, brought all my pieces over so I don't have to keep you waiting. We can keep on moving. So, these I'm going to use for the top rails. And the reason why is so you can slide the yak right up on it. And I'm going to run straps to hold it on. It's just to walk it down the street. So, okay. We're going to go ahead and set these out of the way. So, your next two pieces will be these here. So, we know again we're going to need two more two and a halves to do that.
possible. So we're going to put our glue on these, on the ends here, just do one end at a time. There we go, that was in. This one here will do. Again, just run it around a few times. Now to try to keep these level, to some extent, So what that's going to do now is that's going to put your crossbar up for this. This is going to fit on like this and that's where your, your rails will go. Which will give you enough wheel clearance to be able to wheel it around. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and uh, start getting ready to run our main pieces here. So we'll check that out and see how that goes. Go ahead here and we're going to have to get more measurements here to see um, get more measurements here to see how long you want to make this thing to pretty much hold your kayak. So um, we're going to use the T's for the top rails. So you could almost put them in right here like this. And what they're going to do is they're going to hold the the rails for the kayak to slide on and off of. So um, like I said, I want this one to be kind of low profile. If you know. As much as as I can, just because I don't I don't want it to be too big and bulky where I can't just take it and load it up. You know what I mean? Because uh, I, I want this to pretty much be on the yak with me. So that's that's the game plan as far as you know, making something that I can just put this thing on, throw it on, take it and go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and um, I'm actually trying to add up all my measurements and calculations here. I think we don't even need those other two four piece ones so I can take them back to Ace. <coughs> Excuse me. Woo! And uh, allergies. Um, I can take them back to Ace and get some money back on them which is super duper awesome. Being that they were like three fifty dollars a piece. So here's what we're going to do. Because I thought about making a kickstand on the thing and everything but I'm not doing that. I just want this thing to be kind of little and compact as possible, yet just be able to carry it, load it up with my gear to get down to the water. That's all I want. There we go. Push that on. Awesome. Good cut. I didn't want much space there. It's not much wiggle room to break. So what I'm going to do is make sure it's turned straight before it dries on me, which it might have already started to do. Go and put it here. And... Oh, there we go. Trying to get her straightened up some. Let's go and 
turn it a teeny bit. So, I'm trying to there we go. Crank it back a little bit to get it straight. Here we are. And that's good. I didn't want much space in that at all. Um, just don't want anything where it's weak and can flex. Not that the kayak's super heavy like the Bass Tender. The Bass Tender weighs like 100 and something pounds, 160, 170 pounds. The kayak I think is like 70 pounds. But you include all your gear and everything, you're probably dealing with like 80 pounds maybe. I don't know. I mean, I'm just thinking like fishing rod, um, bucket bait, all that stuff. It probably isn't 20 pounds, but it's still going to put some extra weight. Life jackets. So, here we go. Put my glue in my next one. These are my rails. These are going to basically be what holds your rails on. Let's go and put this on. Okay. So, there we go. That's what that's going to look like. Now we're going to put our rails out. We've got to figure out how much you want to add on there. Um, you're going to put your end caps on the rails too. So, I want to probably put, I would think, where's my tape measure? Did I put it in my pocket or? Oh, it fell. Okay. I would think I would probably want to put, being that's going to go in about an inch and a quarter. So, you're going to put that much about in right there like that inch and a quarter you probably want to put i might do like i don't know a foot on each one will be kind of long so maybe 10 inches on each might give you a, about an 18 inch i don't know i mean total i probably want it from there to there at the max maybe i'm gonna do eight I'll do eight inches on each. I mean, it's probably short, but it's not going to give me this long, bulky thing. So, let's just do eight. Eight it is. We're going to cut eight, so let's get ready to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue and put it on this, right here. And this time I am going to put it on both ends because I'm going to put caps on. Okay. So I'm going to take my cap, put my cap on. That's done. <laughs> That's not good. There we 
go. Got that on. Okay. So we're going to cut another eight. So I got your other eight inch piece here. So I'm going to take that, put some glue on it real good. And then we're going to turn around and put some glue on this end real good. Okay. On the one end, you're going to put your cap. And on the other end, it goes into your cart. See, it's going to be a nice enough stand to hold the kayak without being too big and bulky. I'll be able to pick it up and just set it up on there and bungee it in, and it'll be fine. So, that's a good thing. Okay, I'm going to grab my drilling bit. And what we'll do is we'll pick back up on this in a few minutes. I'm going to go and get, check my drill, make sure it's charged and everything so you guys don't have to wait. And um, then we'll pick back up with this, all right? See you in a few.